Hold on. Mike Davis donated. Oh, $100. hey, look who it is. <laughs> Haven't been here in a while, up, but man? why you hate in Brian? <laughs> you know how many sex deprived bums are shooting the place up? <laughs> She's saving lives with the girlfriend experience. Exactly. Sign Mike Davis. <laughs> of course. You know what? I was, I, let me walk it back. I was wrong. <laughs> she is saving lives out here. Um, just saving lives, you know, so, uh, Good to see you in the chat, Mike Davis. It's uh, it's been a while. Welcome, man. Good to uh, good to see you. Um, go ahead with your. Um, no, I was just saying that I think setting boundaries like you are in terms of. I personally think you should wait till marriage. Um, I think that it's fine to tell a guy that you that you want to do that. Mm -hmm. And when I think platforms like OnlyFans really commodify women's bodies and normalize the idea that if men just pay you like five dollars a month, they can get whatever they want out of you. You can laugh, but the average OnlyFans creator makes about hundred and fifty dollars a month. That's not even the minimum wage in like Kenya. Um, but <laughs> I think that you set a very dangerous precedent that makes it very hard for women to stand oh. up for themselves in normal relationships and tell guys that they can't just get whatever they want out of you. And that you're, you're you can set boundaries and standards. Oh, yep. would would the you guys care to respond to her? Well, personally, I, I don't yeah, mind. Me. Yeah, I don't mind selling myself for five dollars a month. Honestly, ain't nobody you making a hundred fifty a month. A month? Pardon, nobody you don't want the guys paying for porn anyway, right? No, Wait, I what don't. Did you say exactly. So, so that, we're okay. not harming you in any way. You could find your fish. Yeah, I would happily never marry someone who pays money for porn, but okay. I just think it's sad that you guys reduce your oh. value and self-worth to $5 a month. Because, and that's your perspective. Well, what I'm, and my perspective is that I think you guys are worth so much more. I think God endowed you And who you said we're so, not? Well, I think when you're In entire, your eyes, we're not. Well, I'm trying to say, I think when you debase you yourself chair, to make man. your entire livelihood dependent on basically the lowest common denominator, which is the fact that you guys have boobs, a vagina, and an ass, oh. I think that you're selling yourselves extremely short. I have a quick question for you guys. Well, um, oh, hold, hold on just a moment. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, she, <laughs> please allow them an opportunity I'm to sorry, respond. I'm sorry, I get like, no, my, but my just, mind is so fast. No, we can I'm come so back sorry. to you, but allow them I'm to so respond. Yeah. I personally really enjoy my lifestyle. I love what OnlyFans and porn gives me, like it gives me freedom. Um, and I, I really enjoy being sexualized, like I get off to it. Um, and I don't think that's affecting you, so I don't mm -hmm. think it's any of your business, personally. Not well, it's not way. affecting me personally, but I think you guys are sort of one of the many, I would say, arrows in the quiver that are being used to destroy Western civilization and traditional values and family values. And I think, as I'm sure you can attest to, you guys are creating the content that is lowering the threshold significantly to make it much easier for men to want to drop out of relationships with but women. But who's buying it? Like, who's it's buying all your it? fault. Yeah, no, right. it's not, I'm like, not saying it's all your it? fault, but you guys are, are supplying it. And frankly, I think when you guys, again, I'm not attacking you guys as individual yeah. On yeah, sure the, the like it. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, I think you guys can also take ownership for the kind of content that you're creating, um, but I think you guys are contributing to it, right? Are you not? You're saying you're sitting there laughing, saying that you like being objectified and, and commodified, so you're obviously embracing it, and you're going down the path of trying to normalize the behavior. This is just my personal. It is job. normalized, and you know, ain't nobody here making one fifty a month. That's we that, enjoy what's what it. the average OnlyFans creator mm, makes. Well, we're yeah. not average, as you can it, see. Yeah, we got <laughs> thousands of followers on Instagram. We got like over. Well, there, and to be like honest, I think K. that this is one of the most dangerous narratives that OnlyFans spins. And frankly, I hope you guys, like the, the OnlyFans PR team, is paying you a bunch of money because I think the worst part of OnlyFans is that it sells the lie to girls that if you just start posting pictures on the internet of whatever one of your body parts, that you will become like a millionaire overnight and you're basically having these girls tank their reputations for what is, on average, again, you can't argue with the facts, $150 a month. You can become a millionaire you overnight, can. though. I literally so, but the have, But the like, platform of OnlyFans was not, not created for everybody, for, for obviously. organic people. It's it was not created for, everybody. for people who already had followings to then leverage it to show you. Yeah. It started out with non-sexual content. Then it became into, in, into more sexual content and what you guys do. But it wasn't really designed for you. And to be honest, I even take issue with the term OnlyFans because... I don't really think that these people are your fans. I don't think you guys are celebrities. Wow. I think it really is devaluing the term fans. Just because you take pictures of yourself doing weird things with guys doesn't you're, really make you, you a celebrity. You I, I don't paint that myself as a celebrity at all. But you're calling these people your fans. That's so what they're sort called of a on the site. Yeah. Yeah. But I feel like you're threatened and you're scared we're taking you're your mask. for the content. I'm really not threatened. You, you get to guys. make sure you that the actors are over 18. The 
Actors in the videos are paid fairly. If you look at well, OnlyFans term, if you look at OnlyFans terms, they are very vanilla. If you go on porn, you can find some dirty ass shit on there. OnlyFans, some dirty they, ass shit. Yeah, yeah. they are Mine very strict. You can't do stuff in public. You can't do a lot of certain things. So I honestly think that it is a very safe site for people to go on there and show that. And you know, you do you see that people are over eighteen. They're encouraged to you know everybody has to sign a release form everybody is consenting if you go on porn i have seen stuff where these girls are looking very uncomfortable only fans you know it's very safe and like for people like us it is possible to make a million dollars overnight because you have to have that x factor it's not for everybody that's what i'm gonna say manny go ahead yeah um so one of the to your point natalie the 150 dollars a month you know the one percent rule so you got black china making 90 million dollars a year and then you know 50 million 40 million 30 million and then everyone else is zero 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 which brings that average amount down there so i think one of the big challenges is when you get onto an OnlyFans and then you put up some po uh, <laughs> posts and you're like, I'm gonna be rich. And then it doesn't happen and then it's like, oh shoot. Yeah. Now someone has these photos. I think that's one of the, the biggest challenges with it. But one of the things that was really interesting as Beck and I were researching coming on, we're like, why does somebody watch OnlyFans versus porn? Because I was never watching uh, OnlyFans. And what's the big difference? Because it's free, right? So what are they looking for? The boyfriend experience, love, it's connection. More and they want to get to know yeah. you. So here's what was really crazy is we start going through the facts and the numbers and we find 90% of the people are married who are subbing. And we're going, whoa, 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 whoa. And so one of the big challenges I think of what we're trying to stand up for is just the idea of someone is coming here and they're looking for the virtual girlfriend experience. Man. But I think about a child walking down and seeing you know, that's not the one. I sorry. No, no, no. You're fine. Oh, fine. okay. I apologize. So that kid coming down and seeing, you know, their dad on there and the divorce and how they could break up a family and it's just it's very very sad. So one of the things I like to just bring up is just you know you say they love you, which I, I think you would say they love you, your fans. I don't. Think, I don't think they love me. They don't I, love I you. Wouldn't, no, no, no. I wouldn't what would say, you say? Well, I'm, I'm not like I'm not a celebrity. They, like, love. <laughs> they love watching it. Yeah. I think but yeah, I would, they enjoy I would put back, you know, with that whole concept of if they are married men, you know, with a family and they're running from an issue with their with their spouse and they're saying, I don't want to stand up to this. I don't want to have that hard conversation. Just like the hardest conversation I ever had in my life was I'm addicted to porn. I can't stop this on my own. I need help. Um, you know, when you say they love you, if you say that, if you don't say that, but do you want to show love to them, not in a sexual way, but caring about them enough to say, you know what, I don't want your family to be broken. I, I care about them, but don't get me wrong, I'm not in a relationship with them. Mm. It's not my duty to, you know, make sure everyone doesn't have a girlfriend and everyone doesn't have a wife and they've not got families because, like, it's... I'm not trying to be, like, pass the blame, but it's, it's not my problem. Like, you know, I, I'm, I'm not the one in a family. And if I can just really quick on that one, you know, one of the things was... I was just some guy jerking off in his bathroom for 15 years at 2 a.m. You know, and I was like, I never can make a difference. Word. I never. <laughs> <laughs> I, I get a lot of. I those. was going. <laughs> I can't make a difference. I can't do anything. I'm just some guy. And what was crazy about it is when we stood up and we just said, you know what? Let's create this course as a team. And we were helping couples do it. We said, if we can help 10 to 20 couples with our course that we made, that'd be great. And in the first year, 450 people got the course in over 25 different countries. I was literally on the phone with someone in Denmark the other day. It's like four days in the future over there. But just that idea of we're just nobodies from Arizona with no following. And just if this could save one marriage, if it could prevent one SA from happening, if it could help one self-deletion, trying to use all your words, <laughs> would it be worth it? to stand up and just say, you know what, that would be worth it. Just one of those things. I mean, it's not really, like I, like she said too, it's not really my issue, you know? Like most people who go on there have fake names and everything. Mm. They don't want to go on there and like talk about their it's issues. It's a lot of anonymous people. We don't yeah. know who they are. And it's, it's not my problem because at the end of the day, I mean. <laughs> Hold on one second. Grid One Motorsports donated $100. Yeah, thank you, man. Appreciate Ryan it. Ryan won't thank be you. on long tonight. Fly a day tomorrow. Just a reminder that the owner of F pays himself 1.3 mil a day. These of girls Good work for, for the world's biggest pimp. Feminism for the L. 
feminism for the L. Uh, let's go. Thank Can you, Grid One. Appreciate it. Uh, enjoy your fly day tomorrow. Um, but yeah, honestly, I think if a guy is buying OnlyFans, it's probably because the girl isn't satisfying her man, so he has to go out and get that somewhere else. So, you know, like, it's both of their problems. It's not my issue. All I cared about is getting paid. I actually so. don't even think it has anything to do with most... If a man's in a relationship... Well, I mean, I could be wrong on this. I don't think he's... It's probably men who don't have any dating prospects at all who are the pro probably the primary customers of... Uh, I give great relationship advice on my only <laughs> fans. Well, you have 5,000 boyfriends. Can we add to that, so though? I wouldn't can, say can that. Can we add to that for a second, though? Because also, one of the big things when I was addicted to uh, porn was I just felt I would tell myself, you know what? <laughs> Becca just can't handle me because I just need it all. The, I'm just such a manly man with so much just testosterone. So much I can't help. And what happened was once I stopped watching porn, it was like, oh, I don't need, I'm not addicted to sex. I'm addicted to porn. And when we have sex once or twice a week or three times if it's Valentine's weekend or whatever, <laughs> but you know, when we have these things, it's just incredible because it's no longer about uh, power or domination or getting anything off. that's uh, getting off. It's about love, connection, and intimacy. It's just a beautiful thing seeing it. And I would say Becca's the last person who it's the fault because one of the things that's interesting, like I said, this was 15 years in the making. She was only with me for six of those years. And I wanted to quit. I said, once I get married, I'm done with this. Three months before the wedding, I'm done. Then I said, two months, one week, one day, and it's the night of her wedding and I can't have sex. And I'm going, I'm so sorry. I love you. I love you, but I have this problem. Mm -hmm. And I'm struggling. And I didn't say even in that night, I want to quit. I just said, I, I have this problem. And it wasn't until I came to her three years later and I just said, I can't beat this thing on my own. Will you be there for me? That I was able to finally overcome this thing and, and really overdo it. Here, we can come back to the Sorry. only... No, it's fine. Uh, we can come back to the OnlyFans conversation. And I know you guys probably want to continue going at it, but yes. we will come back. Let's get through this the relationship status stuff first. Go ahead. Uh, I'm single. Okay. Um, I think the last time I've been in a relationship was probably December 2022nd. The 20... Year 2020. Oh, that's very precise. Oh. <laughs> so you've been single for two years, about or yeah. what? Two. Okay. Uh, longest relationship. That what? Uh, that relationship, which is like a year and a half. Got it. Okay. Uh, Becca, what about you? Married for almost seven years. All right. Mm -hmm. I assume the answer is the same for you, Manny. <laughs> but, uh, same. Same. Seven years feels like it's been like three minutes though. Mm. Underwater. No, I'm just joking. That was a joke. Please. That was a joke. There is a Mitch Hedberg joke that goes something along the lines of, uh, shit, I'm trying to remember what it was. There's a girl. Oh my God. I'll have to think Mate, of it Mate, what are I've these totally... fucking references? I don't like, know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm I can't really remember bad. any of them. It's just terrible. Um, Amen. Something, wait, Mitch Hedberg, something about like, oh, how's it go? I know a girl who. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry, I'm butchering it. Uh, I, wait, let me Google it while this one comes up. Oh, donated one hundred dollars. Also, the Discord spies tell me that the big GFE Latina has her type as hard at work even as she sits in front of you uh, laughing. Oh. GFE indeed. Sounds oh. like a scammer to me. Thank you, Grid One Motorsports. Are <laughs> the Discord spies are saying? That this, you're selling the girlfriend experience, but you have uh, typers or chatters, as they're no, sometimes called. No, I actually called. don't. No. Okay. How can you talk you to? You got 5, some fast fingers. People? Yeah, <laughs> five thousand people. Yeah. Well, I can. I'm not talking to everyone every day. Like, I spread my love. A little more <laughs> specific. How do you spread yeah. your love? Well, I'll make time for a few one day. The next day, I'll make time for the others, and then I have like a. A, a lot of them don't want. Sorry, a lot of them yeah, don't lot want of, to chat. Yeah, a lot of them don't want to chat, but a lot of them do. It just I'm depends. just curious. Would you guys like say looking downrange want these guys to be in healthy relationships where they no longer need to come to you, or do you want to always have them perpetually in a state where they either are single or they have these broken relationships where they always need to come to you guys? So I you don't guys believe that people that watch porn necessarily have an unhealthy relationship i had i know a lot of couples that watch porn together so i'm talking specifically though on the only fans like the girlfriend experience angle of it a lot of the people that i do give the girlfriend experience to really don't have a chance finding a real girlfriend in the real world <laughs> So, do you think that them watching OnlyFans is That's helping? Yeah, yeah. I make She's I, helping I, them get a relationship honestly, in the real honestly, world. Honestly, honestly, I feel like I do 
They give them practice. Yeah, I yeah, I give them advice. But you just set like, up practice for something that they'll never really need game time. Eventually, I'm, but I'm happy for mine to get into relationships because that you know what, like there's obviously always going to be single so men. So do you guys think that what you do helps them get into relationships or keeps them? Wanting you know to what, just I stay with I you don't guys? involve myself in their personal life like that much. I think it's probably pretty fair to say that what you guys are doing is probably I would say it's making them stray away towards getting yeah. into relationships. So if you really want them to get into relationships, then why wouldn't you? I don't, do I, I'm not saying I want them to. <laughs> Get into so I'm not saying I'm not. I'm so just you saying. Don't. No, I'm just saying so, like. So they the, keep paying. You? Whoa, whoa, whoa! I'm just saying, go. You <laughs> yes. do your uh, thing. Exactly. Like, if he wants to get in a relationship, he Natalie can. I want them all to be single. I want them all to be single. I always have to do shows with other conservative media people, and I always just have to talk about like the Chinese Communist Party and all that stuff. Oh, so we can talk about this that. This is so fun because I get to be on with people who I disagree yeah. with. So there I'm you very go. excited. Uh, well, Natalie, can. <laughs> Do you think, though, I mean, my view on this is, do you think that I, I, that men ought to take accountability on this? I don't really blame so much so the women for making this stuff available. I mean, look, there's perhaps some degree of culpability, but I think men absolutely have mm-hmm. agency and they should take it upon themselves yeah. to not... And there's always going to be porn. Like, 100%. There's always... And I think it's a testament to how masculinity really has been watered down nowadays. Yeah. But I'm just saying, I think where I take, not even personal offense mm-hmm. to it, but where I put more of the onus on, on the women for it is when, and I mean this with all due respect, but when you guys sort of have this flippant laughing attitude where you guys are joking about like, oh, ha, 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 I want to be commodified. I want to be objectified. I want to just make money. Oh, it's all about making money. I think that just sort of, really works to normalize the behavior, which A, takes the stigma off the guys getting involved in it, but more importantly, I think it sends the very, very, very wrong and very dangerous, not just, I mean, for physical reasons, but I think for reputational reasons, message to other young girls that, oh, it's so easy, I just turn on OnlyFans and I make a million dollars. And it's not, that's not true. No, I I agree, I agree that people really need to think about it, because obviously it affects every aspect of their life. I totally agree with that. But I mean, personally, I do it because I enjoy it. It's freedom, like, and yeah, also OnlyFans is always, not for everybody. People, people are always gonna watch porn. Like, if I stop doing OnlyFans and porn, like, they'd only fucking, you know, wank off to another girl. So, like, and if I may add, you were talking about making money, and let's not lie, you can make money doing OnlyFans. Somebody's making money, yeah. otherwise, <laughs> nobody would be doing it, right? So, making money, getting the attention literally a bigger philosophical question of just like what is the purpose of this life for you would you say yeah and honestly one of my kinks is like really getting off to like guys getting off to me like i i like being sexualized i don't know it sounds weird but it's just one of my kinks what can i say um and so i i love my job i get good money from it i get all the freedom but at the end of the day when you're 80 and you know you're passing away Right. Yeah. What is? What are you gonna say? I got my whole one. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, I, I, I invest my money it. well no, and stuff Lillian, like that. Yes. What type of relationship do you want to have? So I haven't really figured this out yet, but I I'd be happy to date someone like in the porn industry as well with me and stuff like that. Like I don't mind not having a non-monogamous relationship. Is that correct? That would be the um, Yeah. Um, but honestly, like, I'm not looking for anything for another, like, 10 years. Like, I am very, very happy in myself. I really enjoy my own company, so for but now. you just said that your biggest kink is watching other people get off to you and that you basically crave the validation of other people. So how can you say that you're just content, like, living by yourself? It sounds like you, you do want someone to give I don't, you validation. No, I, d- I don't want a fucking boyfriend, but I, 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 I get off to guys wanking off to me. Yes, that's two different things. Word. <laughs> Can cool. I get some more water? Is that okay? Yeah. Am I allowed? Uh, Sorry, we'll I'm have... a thirsty girl. I squirt a lot, so I need to hydrate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, honestly, though, I like the attention on OnlyFans. Uh, like, and anyone who's ever known me since, like, I don't know, seventh grade, I've just had this flirty, like, sex appeal to me. I love, you know, I've always, like, fucking twerked at the dances and shit. So, I don't know. Like, I've always just kind of been, like, super horny and stuff. And, like, if you like to have sex and record it, then, I mean, Why not you monetize? know, make money off of it. And it's, like, not anyone can make money off of it. Like, you have to be that kind of girl, you know, put yourself out there. You got to know how to market things correctly. And that's what a lot of people don't do. They don't know how to market it and stuff. So that's another thing. But honestly, 
I like the attention and I like making money off of it. And even if I do know somebody who bought my OnlyFans and they have a wife, I'm not going to say anything about it because I'm, it's not my position. He's probably buying 10 other girls OnlyFans too. So it's like, you know, it's like, what can I do? It's his issue, not mine. And like she said, I'm not invested in their personal lives. I'm not sure if that was a rhetorical question as to why one would not participate on the OnlyFans platform, but assuming it wasn't just hypothetically say you have children, not sure if that's something that you want, but how do you think that plays out with you having kids or maybe getting married? Do you think that that affects them? Do you think that's a potential reason not to do OnlyFans? Mm, no, I don't really plan on having kids either, so I don't think that would be a thing, but even like Kim Kardashian with her video with Ray J and stuff, you know, like she's one of the richest women out here and like her kids, you know, North probably knows about about it, it it really doesn't matter you know like people the have a past she she spent millions and millions and millions of dollars to get that video off the internet for a reason so though. she says no it's <laughs> she has she simply she, has she leaked it herself here let's uh we'll come back to the of discussion a little bit later 